Welcome to Business Reporter. I'm Louise People, and today I'm joined by Damien McLeod, Associate Director of Arup, and we're discussing big data. So Damien, big data, huge buzzword at the moment. Do businesses really understand it? I think, in essence, they don't really understand it. Big data to companies is about them gaining understanding about what they can do better as a business through data sets that they have. And why it's really of importance at the moment is because of the open data movement, lots more data coming online. There's a lot more techn technologies that are about that are allowing us to capture more and more data about how we move, how assets work, which enabling businesses to use this data to gain value and, and do what they do better. So Damien, what are the challenges? So the challenges can, for big data can be broken down into what's affectionately known as 3V. So it's volume of data. So you're receiving data in such a volume you can't handle it through traditional computing technology means. It's arriving at such speed, so velocity, it's coming in. You can't deal with it, process it quickly enough to make the most of that data to gain the insight. And variety, it's coming in, there's such a different, so many different formats of data that are arriving within your company that you can't actually bring the data together to gain any understanding or insight to answer your key business driving questions. So can you give me an, an example of someone you've worked with and how, how these have worked? So an example would be, say, an airport. Let's take an airport environment, a very complex environment, lots of data sets being captured the whole time. So we walk through an airport, we're being monitored, data's being captured about us the whole time when we scan our boarding cards, when we pick our bags up. So as an airport manager, these are really complex environments to actually manage and understand and predict what's going to happen. So when we've worked with baggage people, we've taken large volumes of baggage data and looked at when being able to pull all of that huge volume of data together and that variety of data sets together and have an understanding of what's gone wrong before, when, where, can we, do we get and get an understanding of those issues that have happened? What are the precursors to problems happening on those the baggage carousels, as an example? And then moving forward, we can use those analogs to predict what's going to happen. So we can take real time data then and bring in an operational model that gives us early warnings when a carousel is likely to break, or we're expecting a huge volume of bags to come through the system based on based on these these models and what we know that's happened in the past, it gives some clarity of thought. It gives the managers time to make those operational decisions in real time before problems happen. So, so they run smoother and, and less likely to cause okay, problems. Okay, so if I want my company to run smoother, I want to work with Arup, how do you bring about the solutions? So Arup have a, have a fairly unique model in how we drive these solutions. So as I mentioned, Arup have global expertise mm -hmm. across many, many sectors. We have data specialists, but Arup have also have this intermediary role called integrator. So data specialists specialists and market sector leads don't always talk the same language, don't know how to get the best from each Hang other. Hang on though, I know my market, I know my business, why do I need a third party? It's because Arup understands the context of your wider business, so it's about all of the data, the open data that's being driven into the marketplace at the moment. Your data is great and the understanding you have, but with context of other data sets, could you understand more? Do you know everything? Can you bring all of your disparate data sets together into one place to have a holistic view of your own business. So you're saying it's mainly volume that we're, we're worrying about? I think volume is one of the key aspects, but it's the variety of data. With more and more data sets becoming av available, you'll receive more and more different forms of data sets that weren't that didn't even exist a couple of years ago. And also it's the, it's the velocity of data, G being able to gain understanding of process and where your efficiencies are happening in real time, making live operational decisions about how your business is running in real time. That's one of the key things that big data and big data technology brings to you, you as a client. Now this all sounds great and it sounds like there's a team of, of advisors there, but with a team brings expense. How much is this going to cost? So what, the approach that Arup take is that we don't have a product that we license and sell time in, time out. We work by creating a bespoke solution for you as a client that matches your explicit requirements, answering your explicit needs to give you the most insight so you can run the business better. And we have those market expertise in-house, as I've mentioned, that help us understand that and frame it in a language that you understand as the client that's industry specific to you. So it's not about kind of a one-off cost, it's about Arup working with you to create this bespoke model that drives your business now and in the future. So from what I've been hearing, big data is getting bigger and bigger. What is trending at the moment? So 
trending in big data is about where's the data coming primarily where data is coming from so there's the internet of things so everything being having a sensor in it being able to record more and more data smart cities smart cities is about enabling data within the cities to make better decisions so we're capturing more and more data Smartphones are monitoring where you're moving, search engine preferences, all of these are data sets, Twitter, social media feeds, all of these are huge repositories that we just haven't touched until now. So maximizing those in a day-to-day -day business use is gonna become um, more and more standard process, I think is one of the trends. Also, Open Data, Open Data Institute, who our partners with, they are making more and more data available. So your understanding of your business is great, but if you can add some contextual information to that from outside of that space, you will understand what you do better and they be able to make better decisions with regard to your business. And also, from my own personal view, I think um, being able to ask location-driven questions. So geospatial data is kind of dragging its feet within the big data realm, but I think that will explode within the next few years. Let's look to the future. Where's Arup in this? So Arup, Arup will be working with our clients in, in this space more and more regularly as we go forward. And big data will soon not be a term. It will just be what we do. It will just be data analytics. So Arup, Arup's view on these things is that we're going to work with our clients and make our clients better. And Arup's, Arup's mantra is that we shape a better world. And so we'll work with our clients to do that. Future sounds great. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much.